power, the most and most highest power above you that already sees what you're having. And by the time the plan comes or the goal comes in your mind, it's only you who's having it. There's no one else who's having it. And it's your plan. That's why sometimes we tell people our projects, our goals, and they look at us with the eye of, <laughs> are you okay? But in actual sense, it's not their plan. It's not my, it's not their goal. It's, it's for me. It's for you. And someone's plan of their house, it's completely different from someone's plan of their own house. Someone wants a masha. Maybe someone wants a one, uh, two bedroom house. So it's completely different. The choices differ. And this leads us to what we have as our plans or as our goals. They're completely different. And let it not shake you that whenever you have a big plan, darling, keep it to yourself sometimes. Because you tell people, they look at it and they're like, <laughs> in this economy, you have that plan. And darling, if you're not strong enough, you might start quaking. You might start giving up your dreams in a way that you don't understand. So let's try to minimize on telling people what's going on in our lives. Let's keep our lives secret. Let's have some secrecy at some moment. Secrecy is so different from privacy, you know. So you choose whom do you want to tell and what do you want to tell them? At what stage do they need to hear? Do they need to say action? Do they need to see it happening? And what exactly do they need to get into as soon as it's to happen or before it happens? So let's be resilient. Resilient on our goals, resilient in whatever that we're doing as we take an extra mile and an extra mile starts from a decision today. Are you taking long to make that decision? Are you taking long to make that appointment? Are you taking long to make that call today? Just take a deep breath and say, whatever, will I die? If they don't pick me up, will I die? No, you're not going to die. And if I don't get that job, will I die still? No, I won't die. So sometimes you have to think about all these worst scenarios. What will happen if everything is turning around? Will I die? No. <laughs> I will still live. And the fact that I will still live, it means that there's still another bigger opportunity coming your way. And when you know that, and you stick that to your mind, it's when you actually know that, by the way, I can still live, jolly, happy, you know, and life will still, and life will still be amazing, you know. <laughs> so I consider this as um, a blessed day for both of us to try to find what we love most, try to find what we're passionate about, and we'll go out there and chase it. And one thing I can tell you is, um, Believe in your soul. It's the last point I can say, and it's going to summarize everything that I'm going to say. When I say believe in your soul, it's something that took me some good time, and uh, um, I'm still learning to get there. I can say I'm completely perfect there. Every step you're in, every stage you're in, it needs you to believe in your soul. Because, darling, if you don't believe in your soul, there's no one absolutely no one who is going to believe in you and you know why because generally if you don't believe in yourself who am i to trust you if you don't trust yourself as you who am i to wake up and i'm like oh let me trust this girl oh let me trust this guy by yourself you don't trust yourself you don't trust your capabilities you don't trust your performance you don't trust how good you are so it takes some time for people to really believe but as soon as you believe in yourself, it builds confidence faster than you know it in other people to believe in you, to believe in what you're bringing on the play, to believe in your performances, to believe in your capabilities, to believe in everything. So today, choose to believe in yourself because nothing kills growth like self-doubt. It will kill you when you're still alive. And to avoid that and to keep living, to keep smiling, believe in yourself. It doesn't matter how many times you fail. It doesn't matter how many times you're getting up each day. Still choose to believe in yourself. Because it's just so precious to wake up and you know that I, myself, I acknowledge who I am. And I acknowledge my capabilities. 
what I'm good at, what I can do, what I can bring on the table. And you know what? I'm good. Like, I'm good. <laughs> yes, that is that self-belief that we want. And it all starts with self-discovery. It all starts with knowing who you are and which steps are you taking towards knowing who you are. And I believe in you. I don't know if you believe in yourself, but as far as I'm concerned, and as far as my instincts, my intuition, and the inner voice, it still says there's a lot, absolutely a lot, that you need to see beyond just the fifth or the second eye. You just need to fix it in your third eye and see your capabilities that you're having. And every single day when you see that, you're going to go out there and shine like no other. Remember this, that there's no one, absolutely no one, who's going to believe in you if you don't believe in yourself. But I still choose to tell you that I believe in you because you're so much better than so many out there. Don't have any competition with anyone. Have it with yourself. Are you better than yesterday? If you're better than yesterday, what more do you want? Just one step in front of the other. By the time you did it, that means you can do an extra mile towards that. So until then, I love it so much. And have a beautiful day. Kisses.